Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And I just have some words here. Uh, the Lord put it on my heart to pray for Nigeria as I saw uh, some civil unrest there and God wants this nation to be on fire for God to expose also through the level of prayer to expose all levels of corruption that are taking place there because it's a real battle for uh, you know for, for for righteousness and for corruption within that nation and also I saw a pure worship that it's going to flow uh, from that nation as a result of what God wants to do. There's already good stuff flowing, but there's going to be something more pure that's going to come from that nation of what God wants to do with that nation. I also saw someone's child with autism start to talk and do things that they could not do before and also saw them being more mobile and being able to function normally within their daily activities and that also includes uh, one of those childs within the school environment so Lord I pray for healing for that child also I pray for healing for that child with autism right now Lord that you will bring that creative miracle right now to that situation in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I also pray for Nigeria Lord Lord I pray that this nation shall be saved as it was spoken by Reinhard Bonnke, as he was saying for the whole of Africa. But Lord, I pray for the nation of Nigeria. Thank you for what you've done there. But Lord, I pray for an increase of revival to come to that nation. And in particular, this repentance revival to come to the nation of Nigeria. Lord, I pray that they would catch the fire of repentance revival to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I also saw a plotted robbery and scam is going to be exposed and you will see this even on the news. And I also saw abduction cases also being uh, exposed also in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that exactly what I've spoken, Lord, let those things be exposed and all darkness brought to the light in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone with a headache and also another person with a migraine. You're being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody that is having circulation issues in your body. God is healing you right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also saw somebody with sugar diabetes being healed and things reversed and things brought back to the perfect design of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, anybody that has sickness or pain in the body, let them receive healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that is oppressed of the devil right now, let them be delivered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That devil will come out and leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against all tormented souls, all tormented people right now in the night throughout the day. You will come, that spirit that is tormenting you will come under the obedience of Christ and leave you right now. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them and go in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Psalm 30, verse 1, it says, I will exalt you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not allowed my foes to rejoice over me. Psalm 41, verse 10 says, But you, O Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up that I may repay them. Psalm 62, verse 7. My salvation and my honor rest on God. My strong rock, my refuge is in God. And according to Psalm 3, verse 3, You are my shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. Hallelujah. As I was driving today, I heard an advertisement that was talking about anxiety. And it was saying that anxiety 
are the thoughts that speak to us, that overanalyze things. And the Lord revealed to me again the lie of the enemy. These are the whispers of the devil speaking to us to overanalyze the things, which enables us to put our heads down to the ground. How many people do we see today that have their heads lowered to the ground. They are burdened by all the things that they are carrying on to, the inner dwelling thoughts that they are battling with. Some of them may have no one to talk to, while others may have no sign of hope in their eyes. They are desperately looking for antsies, and many more have given up and resigned themselves to the challenges that they may be battling with. What about you? Is your head bowed down today because of a burden that you are carrying? Or you have a low viewpoint of yourself because of the anxious thoughts that the enemy is whispering to you? God will make a way of escape for you. Are you desperate for God to come through for you? Then you are in the right place, listening to the right message in the right season. That's why we have to be careful of the words we speak to others because we don't necessarily always know what someone else is going through. When we are cast down or our gaze is downwards, our eyes are fixed maybe upon that small area of ground that we are walking and what we see whether is a very limited space and Satan will do everything possible to keep our gaze upon that small space. He will allow you to even inwardly focus on yourself rather than put your gaze upon Jesus Christ. Now, we see according to the prophet Isaiah, who spoke in Isaiah 45 verse 22, the Bible says, Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Hallelujah. What a blessed hope we have when we keep our gaze upon God. But when God lifts our head up, we will see the whole horizon before us, the largeness of what He has created for us to enjoy. Imagine yourself on a beach at dusk looking down. You may see a rock, but some sea sand and maybe a few shells. However, if you lift your head up, you will see the entire horizon the beautiful sky, maybe it's even a sunset, maybe a ship or two at a distance, and the beauty of all that God has created. So even in creation, God is pointing to himself. We see that according to Numbers 21. We see that the Israelites had gone around and they'd started to take their gaze off God and onto the difficulty of the path that they were passing through. See, when times become difficult, what happens is we become discouraged. When you become discouraged, you start to murmur. You start to blame God. You start to look at how evil the world is, how evil people are. And you say, well, why would God allow these things to happen to me or to others? But when our eyes are fixed on him, he makes a way. So we see that people started to murmur and complain against Moses. And then all of a sudden, God brings judgment upon the people, bringing a fiery serpent to come and bite them and they start to die around Moses. But then we see that they come back to Moses in repentance, asking Moses for forgiveness and to also go and consult with God that he may not bring this judgment about upon the people. So Moses consults God and God instructs him to make a pole to make a tree which is a representation of the cross of Jesus Christ. And God said, I want you to build a brazen serpent and whoever looks to this shall be healed, shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ says the same words according to John 3 verse 14. He said, just as Moses raised up a bronze serpent upon a pole, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up and whoever looks to him shall be be saved. Who are you looking to today? See, when God lifts up our head, we will see the whole horizon before us, the largeness of what he has created. See, the good news is that Jesus is well able to lift up your head. 
and he is waiting to do so today. As it says in Psalm 3 verse 3, it says, But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. God, through Jesus Christ, wants to show you a glimpse of his glory and to lift up your head. Will you call upon the mighty name of Jesus and ask him to help you today? He is there, an ever-present help in time of needs. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. No matter what you are passing through, maybe your gaze has gone off him and onto yourself and onto your problems and onto the lies of the devil. But today, Jesus is saying, call upon me, call upon me and I will be a lifter of your head. I will be an encourager for you today. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, maybe our heads hang low with the burdens that we may be carrying today. Be our shield and show us your glory and lift up our head up now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We shake off every thoughts of anxiety, every burden. You said put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lord, I pray we rebuke the lies of the devil today. We give you our worries and concerns and we ask for your guidance. You see it all the outer circumstances, the inner turmoil, and we know that you understand our life, that sometimes even our heart weighs heavy with trouble. But right now, we lay all these things before you and we breathe in safe in the knowledge that you are our ever help in times of need. Lord, we thank you for the grace that is given to us. We breathe out knowing also Lord, that we are held secure in your arms and we wait upon you for you are all truth and you are overflowing love. And Lord, that you would fill each person today. You are a beacon of hope and a fortress of faith. Lord, we choose to be attentive to your still small voice. May we be alert to your spirit's guiding as the journey onwards goes with you. You are the wind in our sails and you will guide us as we steer into that right direction, as we find direction only in you and you alone. You give us the strength to keep on going. You watch over us as we navigate the stormy seas. You are the harbour where we stop for rest. You are our encourager when we lose hope. You are the lighthouse that keeps our path safe. You are there for us always. You reach into the darkness with hope, with truth and light. You stretch out your strong hand in this situation. Lord, and we hold and rescue onto you and to all those that are suffering today. Lord, extend your hand to each one. Let your almighty love move mountains, cross seas, and breathe life into the darkest of places, wherever they are. Light that redeems. You are the light that restores. You are the light that heals. You are the light that protects. You are the light that saves. There is nothing higher, stronger, or greater than your love, and we trust in you today. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray right now that your spirit will touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today, that you will lift up their hearts, lift up their souls and know that you are their help at times, Lord, ever present in our times of need and want. And we call upon you and you will deliver us from whatever situation. Be with your people, touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Heal them, deliver them, set them free. Whatever mountains before them, Lord, we cast those mountains into the sea right now. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always, always forward it to a friend. You can also follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Follow our free website, repentancerevival.com. You are a blessing to us, and we want to also be such a blessing to you.
So as I'm about to go to the USA and pray specifically for those seven days throughout that period of election, I encourage you to join in with me. You don't just have to come from that nation, but you can join also around the place. We've also got other uh, elections taking place. We've got one in Namibia in November. We've also got one in Botswana at the end of October. So there are other nations that are also going through elections elections, it's very important for us as the Church of Jesus Christ to pray through such periods of time. But I will be in the United States. Then we do have the conference, uh, as you can see from the flyer, which is on the 8th, the 9th and the 10th. Precious saints, this is a time to press in. This is a time to believe in revival, not just for Nigeria, but for all nations within Africa, within all continents, within all places, that they may catch the fire of repentance, revival to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.